Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Manuel Okafo and I hope you all are doing well. In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer textures from one character or asset to another asset. Um, the reason for this tutorial is because recently I've been working on a project that required me to transfer the textures from a character that had a different UV, uh, which was a Udim texture tile, onto the same character that had that we wanted like a more traditional um, UV tile with just one grid space. So that's what basically we'll be doing today. And I already have loaded in a character that has UV. That has a UV, I'll just switch it to the UV map, the UV editor. So this is the UV that comes with the make human character. So basically um, we'll be having another version of this character with um, a different UV. So for that, let's just duplicate this and hide one of it. So we'll call this character two. So for the UV to just uh, kind of destroy this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the UV and do Sims from Island. So what that does is it takes um, into account the um, different islands you find here and then use it to mark the Sims as you can see. Okay, so once I have that, I can go ahead and hit unwrap. Okay, so we've unwrapped it and we can see it just messed up the entire texture, um, but that was expected. So let's just quickly uh, make sure that the textures are distributed nicely. And the way you can do that is, um, let's create a new material. And in the base color, we'll create a new image texture. Okay, so we'll hit new. So let's give this about a 2K um, texture size. And for the generated dead type, we'll set this to UV grid. Okay, so this is just to test out the UV map and make sure it's evenly distributed. Um, okay, so for that, let's just go ahead and enable texture mode. And we can see immediately that um, the details are not evenly distributed, especially in areas we might want. So for example, the head is not it doesn't have so much details and you can tell that by the density of the uv grid here and the density of the uv grid here okay so basically it's, it's quite easy to fix it especially for the face so if you go into edit mode and you switch to the face select and if you hit l for island it will allow, allow you to select an island okay and now we can just scale this up and watch it get better so we're trying to add more density to the face so um, currently it's looking okay but for us to get what we want we'll definitely have to scale it a lot which will then impact the density of other models so we just want to scale out the center of the face so to do that I am just gonna select this region the nose region turn on the proportional edit okay and then scale it so you can use your mouse wheel to just scroll it to something you like so the back is a bit stretched um, which we could go to UV and do minimize stretch okay so I mean it's not perfect but it works so now we can select everything and go to UV park island so it's going to retain the changes you made um, and just uh, organize everything for you. So we've kind of added more details to the face. It's not perfect, more work can be done on this, but you kind of get the gist of it. Okay, so for the projection method, we already have a new UV and we have the character with the previous um, textures that we want to transfer to the new one. Um, so the way you um, transfer is basically through baking, so we're baking the texture information from the first character onto the second character and this applies to any other type of assets you have okay so we'll hit new image um, texture image texture so i'm going to set it to um a 2k texture um, for the generator type we want to switch it back to blank so you can just make this color anything you like and hit ok so i'm going to connect this to the surface because i want it to be emissive and I'm also going to do this for the final color. So let me show you how that looks. 
so um, this is how it looks shaded and this is how it looks with the emissive so this is how we want to let it be and likewise this okay so now for the baking we can go into the render setting this is where you can access everything uh, if you're working with, with your GPU especially if you use you set it to work with the optics um, device um, you might get this um, information um, this quite quick information saying baking is performed using CUDA instead of optics so you could easily switch this to CUDA but just to be safe for the general public um, you can easily work with the CPU that's fine too um, it, it's quite fast for most part okay so once you have that selected what you want to go ahead and do is to have this texture visible here and we can go ahead and save it somewhere just save it in the desktop um, just my project file sorry I need to go to save save us okay <clears throat> okay so now we have our image saved we have everything set up we can now select the first character that we want the, the textures from and then select the second character where we want to transfer the texture onto for the big type we want to set it to emit and importantly you want to have selected to active checked on um, you can clear the image if you want it to reset every time you bake uh, by clearing the entire image so we're going to lose this color which is fine so once you have everything good you can just hit bake and you want to make sure you have the object selected of course and you just give it some minutes and it's going to be done so it's done baking and it was a successful bake sometimes you tend to do it and it might it might look like nothing happened then you just need to try it again okay so we can go ahead and hide this and this is the new texture we have and we have transferred the color information onto this character so that's basically it guys um, you can play around with it you can try it with several assets um, but this generally works um, so thank you so much like I said if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and if you wish to see more from me please don't forget to subscribe bye bye for now see you next time